Wow, nice. So here we go. This is our cured salmon. Does it look any different? It looks drier. It's a different color. It has a little... It is slightly more red because it's drier. And it has a little covering on it. It looks like it has a little covering on it. So it's kind of like skinned over. So, oh. So we're going to put this in. Basically, you want to keep the box it depends on who you ask. Some people say 150, some people say around 200. Who did you ask? Um, I went on the web and looked at a couple different things, but I'm gonna go, while we're smoking this, I'm gonna go back and check. I'm gonna stand here with the hose. Um, <laughs> this will be fine. Um, so what we're gonna do, which I thought was really cool, Alton Brown did, is he got two of these digital oven thermometers. And if you remember, we used this in the tomato, planting the tomato episode. Oh, yeah. We're gonna stick the same probe into the bed that's had the, uh, this mulch has been on here for two weeks. It's going up. 71, wow. We're gonna use two of these. One is gonna go into the biggest piece of fish because you, um, the temperature should reach about 150 inside the fattest part of the fish. And then the other one is gonna just stick inside the box as, as an ambient uh, air temperature monitor. Why is it? called ambient. Uh, it's, it's just the, the temperature that's around. It's I don't know. The salmon mood? My father bought me one of these a while ago and for Christmas and he had a little note with it and he says, Eric, I have enjoyed having one of these. I trust you will also love that. And I have. These are very handy. So this is a, a birthday Christmas present because my birthday is five days from Christmas um, that I'm using. Okay, so one of these is going to go in and that, that'll be our ambient air temperature one. And this will go into the uh, thickest part of the meat right here. I think we're ready to close the box. We got the chips in there. So there's really no fire at all? There's just that hot pat? It's just a hot plate making the, the chips in the fry pan, in the cast iron pan, smolder. Oh. It also produces the smoke to uh, give it the flavor. This will take, I think this will take about an hour, hour and a half. One day we're going to do a brisket and that okay. evidently takes like 10 or 15 hours we'll or something. We'll be having salmon for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So are we going to, is it like one of those things where you, like, is it like rice where you dare not look in until it's over? No, you have to check and see how, the, if all the, if all the chips have burned out, then um, we have to add more chips. Do you have more chips? Yeah, I got a whole bowl of them here. Ready for the turning on? And I'm going to turn it up to high. Good boy. You have to impale yourself on a dowel rod. Okay. What was that? I don't know, it's not a crack and pop over there. 66 ambient, 71 fish. So uh, while you were inside, I decided I would come out and check on it every 15 minutes. And I noticed that things were going um, <clears throat> downhill. <laughs> the temperature was going down. Well, what happened was we, when we were plugging this in and turning it on, we heard this kind of click noise and we didn't know what it was, but what it was was the uh, circuit breaker on the outdoor outlet uh, going click. So we're going to take the extension cord and go inside with it. We blew a fuse? Yeah. There we go. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So this is cooking very nicely now. 147 is the ambient temperature in the box. Well, it just went down 145. And the fish is at 96. Ambient temperature is above what it should be. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Marty, are you scared? Okay, so um, we've been doing some research here. It's, it's now 10.30. <laughs> um, basically, I was looking at the 3men.com site, and they said that uh, ideally your smoker is at 190 degrees and the Alton Brown cardboard smoker is at 150 and I didn't quite understand so I thought maybe the combustibility of cardboard or something so I cranked the uh, I cranked the knob on the the skillet in there all the way up to, to the top and it is now 208 degrees Whoa. inside the box I put some tape across the top here what kind of tape? just some <laughs> box tape 
and um, tape, bakery tape. And the three men uh, site said that for larger pieces of fish, the internal temperature should be 140 degrees. So I'm convinced this stuff is cooked because our thermometer, our um, meat thermometer, is 140 degrees right now. So it's it's done. It's time. Because we want to go to bed. Um, <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now, did you ever have to put in more chips? Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. Um, I had to cut our access hole a little bigger. You should cut your access hole so it's large enough that you can actually pull the fry pan out. Mm. And I didn't do that. <laughs> um, so I had to make it slightly bigger. And I replaced the chips once. Okay, so we're going to take our thermometers off. So there never were any flames. No, it never combusted. And you can actually touch the box and it's not hot, right? It's pretty darn warm. Okay, here comes the smoke. Whee! Wow. It smells good. Oh, it looks great. It looks dark. <laughs> what do we see in here? We see some beautifully smoked meat here. Ready for the shot? Ready for the reveal shot? Yes, reveal shot. Ta-da! Wow. Look at that. Nice. Look at the glaze on there. So you see here, see how it's more cooked in the center? That looks great. That I think that looks absolutely amazing. It really does. It looks really nice. Pretty color. Henry could stay awake for salmon. Henry's very interested in the salmon. <laughs> um, so this is neat. So this is like a sugar, lemon juice, some salt water, um, glaze on here and we let it cook. I think you have to be very careful using a cardboard box, but I, I cranked it all the way up. But I wouldn't, you know, if you don't do what you're doing, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. Very nice, huh? Very nice. Juicy. It's supposed to be juicy. Oh, uh, this is like what, what stuff is in the store. It might be super hot. It, it might, might be, be 140 hot. degrees, actually. <laughs> It smells great. Really? <laughs> wow. Hours later. Hours later. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. You can do this and it tastes amazing. So we get a lot done in between too. We got a lot of work done in between. <laughs> Alright, so it's late, we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> Good night, Henry. Oh, Henry's looking at your fork. <laughs> Henry, did he say to do that? No. All right, thank you. So we're running out of tape. Our little tape thing is blinking, um, and we're tired. We want to go to bed, but you can do this. This is really amazing. And I'm gonna—I've been reading about smoking food all night while this has been smoking on the web. So we're gonna do more smoking. And um, thank you to everyone that sent me emails. Um, about, Which is just about every single just person. About every person watches the show. <laughs>